hey, what's up? This is GoFro, another local edition of GoFro Goes To. I'm checking out the Alamo City Roller Girls today. They're a roller derby team, and they're about to throw it down two dates. Roller derby is, is not a very common sport that you see, but it's been dominated here in the Lone Star State, and particularly here in San Antonio, Texas, by the Alamo City Roller Girls. And uh, this is GoFro Goes To. This is GoFro. I'm here at the uh, Alamo City Roller Girls' last match of the season. I'm actually here with the club's president, I'm sorry, the team's president, the team's president, uh, Tiana Motley. How are you doing, Tiana? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Great, great. Um, let me ask you a question. I mean, um, for my viewers who don't know, who are the Alamo City Roller Girls? The Alamo City Roller Girls are the only WIFTA league here in San Antonio. We are actually also one of the pioneer leagues. So about 10 years ago, uh, when Roller Derby got resurrected um, from the dead from the 70s, like everybody knows, um, we started this league. Um, tonight is alumni night, and we're honoring all the people that brought us to, to this point today. Cool. So. Okay. So I did notice that when um, the team was calling for alumni to stand up, I did see uh, a lot of men get on the track, or unless I was confused, or that was just the support, like the spouses, or, or family members or spouses, or you is know, this a... It is a women's flat track derby association, sure. and everybody who plays and skates has to be a female, but you know, we're supported by our husbands, by our boyfriends, okay. by our significant others, okay. I mean, I didn't our know ref crews, was... they can be men, um, so it's not wholly inclusive to females, sure. but... To, to actually skate in WIFTA, you yeah. have to be a female. Well, the sport has evolved in the last decade. Um, it's evolved into, well, it's always been, let me rewind. Sure. It's always been a full contact sport, so you always need to have head to toe protection. Sure. However, the sport has evolved into slow walls and big hits on the jammers. So that's probably what you're seeing out there tonight is, you know, if you're the one with the star on your helmet, you're asking for it okay, and people yeah. are gonna give it to you. So so. Going to that subject, um, I actually had a couple of questions. I, I want to know the positions. I had three down in my head so far. Um, uh, a blocker, a jammer, and a pivot? That is correct. That's, that's those, are, those are the only three are positions three. Okay. you can play in roller derby. Okay. The jammers are the only ones that can score the points for their teams. Okay. The blockers block the opposing jammer. Okay. And the pivot is a special position in which they can become the jammer if they're given the star. What's the next? Okay, so season's over right now. When does the next season begin? What are you all going to do in the meantime? Is it nothing but training from here on out? Uh, we're actually going to have an off season for a couple of months. And people can train if they want, but it's not required. Um, and then we'll probably pick up in February or March with our next home season game. But you can find us at AlamoCityRollerGirls.com. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter. And then as soon as we have our schedule set, we'll definitely post it for the public. Thanks a lot for having us out here. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it so much. This is GoFro Goes To.